guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Sky here today. And if you are new, hit the subscribe button down below so you do not miss any new videos. And today I'm going to be doing sort of another one of your favorite guys' topics, and it's going to be ABBA. But today I'm going to share my personal five songs that I think are underrated ABBA tracks. So without further ado, let's just get into this video. So for the first track I'm going to talk about, it's going to be Tropical Loveland, and that is because I think it's one of those like it just it's just one of those songs that Frida was leads on and I absolutely adore Frida of course I love both the ABBA girls but her vocals on this is just like so sensual and like she creates this like warm environment like come to my love land oh my love land and like I just I it's one of my favorite songs it came off of the ABBA album from 1975 and I think when they did that like ABBA export from Sweden special in 75 76 it was one of the songs that they did like feature when they were in Australia and they filmed a bunch of stuff. I can't remember the exact stuff. I'll try and find the video link in the description below. But the song is just so sensual and like Frida's voice just does something to it. So Tropical Loveland is my first underrated ABBA song. So the next ABBA song that I'm going to talk about is actually from their first album. A lot of people have like a different opinions of their album from 1972, which was Ring Ring. Personally, it's one of my favorites. A lot of the tracks I feel like are underrated, but for first off, the first one I think that is definitely underrated and definitely needs to become a theme in the world we're living in now. It is called He Is Your Brother. And basically the concept of the song is like, treat him well, he is your brother. Um, you might need him one day. And I feel like the world we're living in, that is like, that is like definitely one of like the top things that we as a society need to kind of like focus on and it goes on in like a lot of the chorus like treat him well he is your brother uh, Anietta and Frida share vocals and this is also a song that I think it was like Bjorn and then I think Benny was singing with him I can't remember the exact like details of the song um coming to fruition but he is your brother it's off of Abba Ring Ring 1972 definitely check it out number three on my list for underrated Abba songs is actually a rewritten song that they end up rewriting so if you guys didn't know why did it have to be me from abba's arrival al album in 1976 actually started as happy hawaii and i don't know if it's just because like the feeling you get when you're when i was listening to it for the first time a couple years ago when i was starting to get into abba it just hits so different so if you listen to it you can hear like the instrumental part of like um i was so lonesome i was blue like and then like going back to um after all I had to go through, I make, you know, plans. Like, if you guys listen to it, you'll see the exact parallels. Like, it was the early version of Why Did It Have To Be Me. And I think it's just because, like, when you're listening to it, you get, you can imagine exactly what Hawaii feels like. I've never been to Hawaii. I've actually never really been out of, like, my home state of New Mexico, except to Colorado, Arizona, and, like, Utah when I was really little. So, definitely check out Happy Hawaii. If you guys like Why Did It Have To Be Me, if you really like, like, the Mamma Mia, um, scene when Donna's on the boat and like the vibe it kind of gives the same tropical vibe so definitely check it out okay so this next song that I'm gonna talk about is actually from the 1975 album as well so I don't know what order tracking like the ABBA the album from 75 was but it's called hey hey Helen and this song I particularly feel like was a little bit ahead of its time because the concept the way I understand the lyrics I don't know if everybody's interpretation is gonna be the same it's basically this woman Helen leaving her husband boyfriend whatever and with her kids and like getting out of like possibly i feel like an abusive relationship so i feel like at the time a lot of like topics like of domestic abuse and stuff was very like not talked about as much as it is today there wasn't as much like advocacy it was like more of a hush hush thing even though like um tv shows like on the family were showing like a lot of like everyday scenarios by that time in like the real world and like mod mod was a very good uh tv show as well and then like good times and the jefferson sort of they like, kind of like brought serious situations into television but hey hey helen is one of those songs that i feel like can be a lot of women's anthems especially that have been like in horrible toxic relationships like you're starting to forget the past and like um does it make you sad like you you have all those emotions when like you're going through it um so definitely hey hey helen is an underrated ABBA song and i personally think was way ahead of its time okay y'all so to wrap up this little video of the abba underrated tracks for me personally the last one i'm gonna mention is head over hills from the visitors album i feel like at this point in abba's career I feel like it was like the time where they were just like stopping 
the music and we're gonna like move on even though abba did come back we had a new arrival of abba with the abba voyage project last year cannot believe it's almost been a year since the whole album's been out but head over heels the concept for the music video was really hilarious frida and bajorn were actually like married in the concept of the video and frida is this leading lady as the lyric says and it's just so fun like i feel like a lot of like people can relate to like head over heels breaking her way, pushing through unknown jungles every day, like girl boss moments in the 21st century have come so far from even just like the end of like 1999, like early 2000s Y2K kind of thing. So I feel like it's like a girl boss song. I don't know if anybody else gets that vibe. Of course, everyone's opinions are going to differ. And I just, I don't know, the lyrics, like the other one of my favorites is she's a girl with the taste for the world. That's, that's definitely me. I'm aspiring to figure out what this world has in store since I am still kind of young. But I hope you guys enjoy hearing my top five ABBA underrated songs. With that in mind, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this new video on my channel. I hope you guys liked hearing my like opinions and like how I broke down the songs. I know everyone's opinion is going to be different and it's okay if you don't agree with me or if you agree with me, hey, great minds think alike. I want to hear your guys' opinions and if you guys want to see like a part two of songs that I think are like underrated ABBA songs, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It is free and I'll catch you guys in my next video, which hopefully will be soon. Bye guys. Don't forget to keep singing to Abba. Bye.